What's up guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start an online radio station from the comfort of your home using the free, open source platform called AzureCast. With AzureCast, you can easily self-host your own internet radio station and stream music 24-7 without any expensive equipment or subscriptions. Whether you're a DJ looking to broadcast your mixes, a musician wanting to promote your tunes, or just someone who wants to share their music taste with the world, this video will guide you through the entire process. So let's jump right in. Step 1. Prerequisites Before we get started, there are a few prerequisites you'll need. 1. A server running a Linux distribution like Ubuntu to install AzureCast on. For this demo, I'm using an Ubuntu 20.04 server, but you can get the cheap VPS providers from our site. Check the video description. 2. A domain name that will point to your server's IP address. This isn't strictly required, but it makes your radio station easier to access. 3. Audio files in the format of MP3 that you want to broadcast. Make sure you have the proper licenses or rights to stream this content. Once you have those ready, let's move on to actually setting up AzureCast radio station. Step 2. Installing AzureCast. We'll start by connecting to our Ubuntu server via an SSH client. First, open a terminal and run this command to get root access. Next, we need to add swap memory to the server to ensure the smooth running of AzureCast. Enter this command for that. This will add 4 gigabytes of swap memory. You can customize this by changing the number of MB. After that, enter this command to change the IP table settings. This may not be needed for most of the VPS. So you can skip this command when you use the recommended VPS on our site. Next, we'll install AzureCast itself along with Nginx as the web server and other dependencies. We should create a new directory for the installation. Go to the newly created directory using this command. Okay, now enter this auto installation script. AzureCast runs as a Docker container, so you need to install Docker. This script will ask you to install it. Type Y to proceed. The installation script will prompt you to choose stable release or rolling release. It is better to go with the stable release. So I enter Y here. Okay, it will ask again. Do you want to go rolling release? Here, type N and proceed with the installation. Takes a few minutes to complete the installation, so wait for it. After that's done, AzureCast will be installed at the slash var slash AzureCast directory. Let's test if it's running by visiting the server's IP address in a web browser. This will prompt at the end of the installation as well. You can see that AzureCast has been installed successfully on the server. We appreciate you all watching these free tutorials. Please like, subscribe, and share to support the channel so we can keep making more free tutorials for you. Now, Back to the tutorial. Step 3. Configuring AzureCast GUI. When you go to the AzureCast landing page for the first time, you will be prompted to create a super administrator account. Enter an email and the password. Let's start setting up our first station. Here you can configure all the details like station name, description, time zones, etc. Next, you have to configure AzureCast settings. If you have a domain and it is pointed to the server IP address, you can enter it here. If not, just enter your public IP address as the site-based URL. This is the main interface dashboard where you can manage everything related to your radio station. You can further customize the station's appearance, automated media settings, support details, and more from the side menu options. Step 4. Uploading music. With our station configured, it's time to upload some music. Go to the Media then Media Files section. 
Here you can drag and drop folders of audio files or manually upload them one by one. As I mentioned earlier, Azure Cast supports common formats like MP3, AAC. For this example, I've got a few MP3 files and I already uploaded them. You can edit metadata like album art, titles, genres after uploading as well. Once your files have uploaded, we'll create a playlist to broadcast them. Here, you can add media by selecting from the uploaded files. You can create a new playlist and add them. I use the default playlist as an example. There are tons of settings you can configure like playback order, whether to shuffle tracks, set intro and outro tracks, create a source playlist and more. To keep this video simple, I am not going to explain them one by one. Step 5. Starting Broadcast To begin broadcasting, simply click the Start Station button at the left side top. Then click on the Reload Configuration button. This will start broadcasting on your radio station. You can click the preview stream link to give your station a quick listen. You'll be able to tune in using the streaming URLs or the web player. And that's it. Your free internet radio station is now live and ready for the world to enjoy. In our next video, I will show you how to create a 24-7 live streaming radio station on YouTube with AzureCast. I hope you found this tutorial helpful for learning how to start an online radio station at home using AzureCast. While we just scratched the surface, AzureCast has tons of advanced capabilities. Be sure to check out the official AzureCast documentation for guides on unlocking the full potential of your self-hosted radio platform. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave any questions in our Minex forum, and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and happy streaming!